Today in the news, we got a massive APU leak from AMD and an insane new game engine. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. A few days ago, we got a leak for an upcoming APU called the Ryzen 7 4700G. This leak was criticized for being fake because, well, someone basically tricked user benchmark into displaying that name. Now, don't get me wrong, the name might be fake, but AMD is definitely working on an eight core APU for desktops. Not only that, but according to a leak from Igor's lab, they are working on a whole lineup of APUs for desktops tops on the AM4 socket. In this leak, there are 22 different chips, all with varying specs. We don't have the naming scheme yet for these APUs, and a lot of them will probably be reserved for OEMs, but let's take a look at the chart. In terms of the CPU, the core count varies from 4 to 6 to 8 cores. This means we'll probably have R3s, R5s, and R7s with the same 468 structure as we see in Ryzen 3000 CPUs. The clock speeds in these vary from 1.7 GHz all the way up to 3.8 GHz. That's the base clock. For boost clocks, depending on the model, it can be anywhere from 4.1 GHz to 4.45. In terms of TDP, there are two variants, 35 and 65 watts. On the integrated graphics side of things, these APUs mirror the mobile chips with up to a max of eight compute units or 512 stream processors. If we look at the lowest end chip in that list, it's a quad core with five CUs at a TDP of 35 watts. The CPU's base clock is 2.5 gigahertz and the Vega compute units are clocked at 1.4 gigahertz. There are chips with 6 CUs and others with 7 or 8, but the most impressive here is this 8 core chip. It has a base clock of 3.6 GHz, a boost of 4.45, and the graphics is 8 CUs clocked at a whopping 2.1 GHz. That's insane for a 65 watt part. With this kind of frequency, it reaches 2.15 teraflops of FP32 computing power. That's about 9% faster than the uh, 3400G with three fewer compute units. It's kind of a bummer it doesn't have more of them. So what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Moving on to some Epic Games news, the company just showcased their upcoming Unreal Engine 5, and I gotta say, this update is going to be insane. They released a video demo of it that focuses on two new features, Lumen and Nanite. Lumen is pretty simple. It's dynamic global illumination. Now, this is not ray traced, but it looks so good that I don't think we need global illumination ray tracing anymore. It has infinite bounces, it reacts to the environment, and works great with the second feature called Nanite without having to bake lighting into the textures. Anyways, the second feature called Nanite is basically an optimized virtualized geometry system that allows for the game creator and artist to work without having to worry about polygon count, level of details, normal maps, etc. In this example, you can see what they call virtualized micro polygons in action. Yep, that's not noise. Those are triangles of different colors. And in this one, each of these statues have more than 33 million triangles and there are more than 500 statues in this scene. Now that's a lot of polygons. Anyways, the demo is worthy of a watch if you have time and on top of that, it's all running in real time on a PS5. So if you're wondering what games could look like on the next generation of consoles, you have it right there. That's of course if the developers take the time to make it look that good. If you wanted to try it out though, you'll have to wait because UE5 will only be released in early 2021. Seriously, go watch the demo, it's worth it. In AMD news, the company just partnered up with a game selling platform. It's called Robot Cash, and if you've never heard of it before, it's basically a game store with a twist. You can buy games from the platform, and when you're done playing them, you can resell your games and get some credits to purchase another one. Not only that, but you can also share your PC's GPU to mine what RoboCash calls iron. It's basically the currency with which you can buy more games. Thanks to that partnership with AMD, if you have a Radeon GPU, 
or a Ryzen processor, you can basically get a boost on the mining speed to get free games faster. The service is currently in beta, but if you want to check it out, link is down below as usual. And that is pretty much it for the news today, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here. Subscribe to the channel, stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one.